that I welcome you to the feast, especially today, because Audie has heard a strong message from the Lord and will bless you. And I'm so excited for you. Open up your heart to receive that word. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a very, very short word to complement the main word that he's preaching. And my word is like a preparation to what he's going to preach. I'm going to be talking about a question that people ask me a lot. You know, Brother Bo, how can I find meaning and purpose and happiness in my life? You seem to be such a happy person. And I say, yes. And then they ask me, why? And of course, I can give you 69, 75, you know, 82 answers, you know, why I'm happy. But if I'm forced to give one word, then that word has to be gratitude. You know, gratitude, this, this is the secret to, to everything. I, I really believe that. When you understand, you know, gratitude takes humility. Gratitude um, takes faith. Gratitude takes trust. Gra gratitude, it's, it's, it's amazing. Now, what should you be thankful for? I'm going to give you three things to be thankful for. The first one, I want you to be thankful for, for the bad things that did not happen. That's right. As simple as that, you know. People tell me, I, I don't know how to be grateful. You know, start with that. You know, that you woke up in the morning. You know, a lot of people slept last night and did not wake up that morning. You did. Thank God. Three people die every second. One, two, three, four, five. Fifteen people have died. Check yourself. Are you part of the fifteen? No, you're not. Thank God. Thank God for the bad things that did not happen. Be grateful for that. Here's number two. Be grateful for the good things that happen. And it doesn't have to be very big. In fact, the smaller things that you be grateful for, the better because those are the things that you take for granted. I mean, the big things, you know, you got a promotion. Thank God, God is so good. Your kid graduated. Oh, hallelujah. You know, but how about the small things? How about the fact that somebody smiled at you? How about, how about the fact that there's food on the table? How about the fact that there's a roof over your head and that you can inhale and that you can move your right hand and you can move your left hand? I always say that to people, you know, thank God for the good that God has been doing in your life. Here's the third thing. What's the first one? Thank God for the bad things that did not happen. Number two, thank God for the good things that did happen. And number three, and maybe a little bit more difficult, thank God for the good things that happened and the bad things. <laughs> That's like, what? Yeah, like this pandemic, it's a bad thing. The virus, bad thing. You know, COVID, bad thing. A million people died all over the world. But what's the good that has happened through the bad thing? A lot of people tell me that because of the situation, you know, they've been able to spend more time together. And they, they've been able to connect with their, with their spiritual life more. And it, it woke them up, you know. There are good things that happen even in the bad. And I want you to be grateful for that. All of this leads to all these messages. And so I pray for you that you receive that word and that it changes you and that it will bless you and your family. God bless you. Thank you so much. All right.